motivo de estar ahí Bendita la coincidencia Bendito el reloj Que nos puso puntual ahí Bendita sea tu presencia ah. He had a pretty severe mixed loss, um, obviously not much language, um, but uh, we fit a pretty powerful hearing aid on him and he lit right up. Very neat. It was Geraldo. Giving without, uh, without any monetary anything. thing yeah, or exactly. expectation. It's just uh, rejuvenates us for another couple more years. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was going to say exactly. Gives you another wind, second wind. And this is the moment. I can see it in the parents. They see there's my son, there's my daughter. This is it. I've waited. How many years have they waited to finally get their son and daughter the help that they've dreamed? I, you know, can you imagine going to bed at night? Knowing your child's in the next room and they can't hear. You know, how, how, how can you get good rest? You can't when your kids are in need. And then they come in, and here's the moment. We turn the lights on and these kids' eyes come open. It's, a, it's the glass look on these eyeballs are gone. And it's, it's a moment of holy cannoli, what's happening? I'm, they're, they're reaching for the sound, they're like, what is happening? And then you say mama, they go mama, papa. You know, I'm a full body goosebump right now. This really is the end product of people in America supporting charities, whether it's Starkey Foundation or your local church or whatever. Put the dollar in the offering plate, and a lot of people are finished. And it's really nice to see what happens to that dollar in the offering plate on the other end. What happened is it was on the news about the event for the donation that was going on here. So all these people when they heard the news they've been here since five in the morning making the line to try to get the chance to get the healing needs. So you see people like with families, there's a lady there with a little baby that's her daughter, it's her, it's the brother and it's her husband. And they're all here because they'll have a hearing problem. So what we're gonna do is try to set up for the testing and then take the impressions and then try to see them everybody. Uh, they're twins and the one brother wants hearing aids and he doesn't have any hearing loss. So he's he's flipping out. He really wants those hearing aids. He said in the chair first. No. <laughs> then we figured it out because they did that at testing apparently too. His twin brother got a hearing aid and he can't have any. His ear, he hears good and he's crying because he can't wear a hearing aid. He wants to wear one so bad. The twin with normal hearing is so despondent over the fact that he is not getting hearing aids that he's been crying for the last 30 minutes. So we've actually fit him with an very open ear molds and are putting um, dummy aids on him because the mother is afraid that if she doesn't have aids for the other twin, that the twin with normal hearing that he will hide the other brother's hearing aids or they'll fight over them and something will happen. He's such a good boy, he keeps trying to help his brother here. He's showing him how it works. <laughs> Hola. Hola.
If it isn't for you and your foundation, they will never hear. You can be sure of that. Okay. And I'm glad, I'm really glad. And I'm, for my heart, I, I give uh, you a thanks. Yeah. Uh, good. Agua. 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 Muy bien. Muy hola. 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 H